Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas at HIMSS, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Manish Singha, Chief Technology Officer at Blue Cross of Idaho. Manish, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Manish, at Blue Cross of Idaho, core to your ethos is that real life questions deserve answers from real life people. How is your data strategy helping you deliver on this customer centric promise? Yeah, so you, you touched upon two topics that are very close to me. One, everything we do is very customer centric. This is not about technology or anything like that. This is about catering to the needs the, the community wants from us. So looking at that, data strategy has three components to us. One is policy, what does, what does it mean uh, to enable our employees to have the right information available, accurate information available when they need it. So when the moment of truth arrives, they have the right information to guide the members or guide the providers through which the members are being serviced appropriately. So the data strategy is built around uh, accumulating all the data in one place and applying appropriate business rules to make it relevant for our team members. So that's the essence of our data strategy. And then it's all focused on members, providers, brokers we work with, the community at large we work with, making sure everybody's getting what they need. Great perspective, thank you for that, Manish. The better someone understands their health plan, the better they know what to expect from it. You believe that is just the way healthcare should work. How does the AI data cloud help connect disparate health plan data and make it more accessible and actionable for your team and members? Yeah, so the human touch is very critical for us, uh, to our organization, which means that we are not about to replace this human touch with technology, but rather than that, we are enabling our team members to know all the information they need to have about the member at the time the touch point happens. So let's say the member has called us for a particular question. Do we have the situation, the background available to us to guide them properly? So whether it's a question about benefits they have or the cost of care that they should expect, or which provider to go to get, to get the best, uh, best outcome, we have that information available at our tips. So we are working internally to make sure all the data comes together in a way that that, that touch point is, the moment of truth is met positively. Thank you, Manish. From your seat, what specific AI use cases are having the most significant impact on member experience, and why are these particular use cases so valuable? Yeah, so uh, before I get into very specific use cases, uh, there are a couple of things. One, uh, I mentioned earlier that we, we are making sure that AI is not to replace that human touch we have. And that's a differentiator for us at BCI. How we treat our members, how we treat our providers. So uh, the, the AI strategy is built around providing that information in a way that's consumable easily by the relevant person. So if it's on a member portal and the member is looking for self-service, are they getting the right information in a way they understand? Not in the way the systems process it, not the way a provider might see it. At the same time, when we go to the provider and we are talking to them about a particular procedure or process that needs to happen, we are talking in their language. So AI, using technologies like Snowflake, AWS, allow us to bring it all together in one place and have that, uh, 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 the, the right amount of information available at the right time. Manish, for healthcare executives watching who are looking to maximize AI's potential, how should they look to upskill their existing team and better leverage data to improve interoperability and outcomes? Yeah, so for at BCI, the, uh, the member, team members have been uh, part of our journey. So we have been looking to uh, train them, to give them the tools they need to, uh, to assist other team members do their work. So within IT and otherwise, there is already a training program, but we are evolving that training program to include AWS and Snowflake. So for example, in Snowflake, we have done a significant investment in putting about 60 people through certification and making sure that they are, uh, they are equipped from a technology perspective to make things work together very well. Uh, because with the, the people process technology is a well-known thing, so the technology portion has to be strong enough and people trained enough so that they can carry out the process accurately and completely, so that's the... Manish, it's been such a pleasure. As you look out over the coming months, what's top of mind for you and your team, and how is your data foundation supporting these efforts? So data foundation, data is the bloodline, as you know, uh, having those insights available in a way that they matter and you make the best decision possible. That's one of the key things we work with. So uh, all, the, all the conversations we are having right now, the data foundation, the, the technology piece, 
We are also looking at processes and see how we can streamline them better. And they all come together in a way that makes the experience much better. It's very much experience focused. There is a program uh, we are running which says, let's go back to the basics and make sure we are not skipping anything. Uh, that matters to our members, to our providers. Because members uh, have their relationship with providers and not necessarily with us, but we are the one that can facilitate that relationship a little bit more and also provide assurance on the costs and other pieces that they might do. Well, Manish, I want to say thank you to everything your team is doing. The broader state Idaho, such a pleasure to be with you yeah, here today. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.